welcome back so previously we have covered basics about postman and api testing we already covered how we can set up postman and basic walkthrough on the postman window also we have seen what is api difference between the soap and rest services different type of methods we are going to use we can use in rest api and also we have seen we are going to test rest api using postman so here in the session we will start with very basic we are going to do manual testing of rest api and in this session we will check very basic part in which we will make a get request to fetch data and for doing this testing we are going to use sample api of student management system that i have shown you previously okay let me just move to these api first so here i'm on my website that the testing word api.com here i'm moving to the api and if you just scroll down here you will get these student details api so we will start our testing from these api just to update you these api are the sample api for practice so we have developed these api for managing students data and you will get sample data over here so we will start with this get request you can check it for managing the student data we have these five api we can fetch data of a student by using get request we can add new student we can update data of the student and we can delete student data so we will start with the get api i'm just moving to it okay now whenever we are going for the api testing first of all we need to make a new tab in the postman okay let's move to the postman here i just want to update I already have the workspace which I have shown you previously. So that is a workspace I'm working on. Also here file settings. In themes you will get two different themes. White color and black color. So I have just selected dark theme here. Okay. I want to start working on it. So first of all we need to create a new tab. I'll simply come here. New tab. Okay. What kind of request you want to make? I want to make a get request. Later on we will make post put patch delete but as of now i'm making a get request now for making a get request first we need url of my api so let's move back here if you notice that is my relative url and this is the base url of my api so we need to generate a url by fetching the base url which is this i'll just copy paste over here and relative url of this api is this so I can say base URL would be same for all API only this relative URL would be changed I'll just paste it over here okay here if you notice in my get request it is saying you need to pass ID and this ID is going as a URI as a part of URI I means we need to pass in the URL itself we need not to pass any body so as of now I'll simply go what is the ID you want to pass so I'm just passing the ID like three five times zero I already have many students which are already registered in my system so I just want to fetch student data where the ID is this okay that student already exists in my system so I'm just using that okay one more thing we will have to check do we need to send anything in the body answer is no so that is none we need not to pass anything else okay even these API don't need any authentication and header so no other information is mentioned over here we are not going to pass any other information that's a very basic API where we are just making a get request by giving URL with input data let's go here I just click on the send as we click on send we are getting response and in the response you can check we are getting complete details about that student when we are doing manual testing we are just making a request we are checking all these things manually like okay I'm checking my status code should be 200 that is done manually I'm checking in response I'm getting the correct data or not so everything will be tested here manually because we are testing all these things manually only okay if I say I want to test for three or four different data so let's copy this URL I'll make one more tab and I have one more student with the ID 3 4 times 0 1 
okay i just want to update you one thing might be when you are using this api this particular student does not exist in my system so you can use any other number like you can use okay 300200 so i have lot of students which are already registered in the system you can try to fetch their data so i'm trying to fetch okay one more data 300200 this data exist in my system for this particular id means we have a student with the id 300200 and that is the data in the same way you can test this api with multiple data but one thing you will notice we are validating all the things manually manually means after making a request we are getting response so that is your request section at the bottom you, you have to response in response manually you are validating status code is correct or not also manually you are validating your response data but when we will move to the automation we will add assertions over here which will test all these things automatically later on in this course i will show you how you can do that so we have seen one get api where we are fetching the data of a particular student we have one more api get request api where we can make a get request and fetch all student's data if you can just go over there it is not asking for the id why because it will fetch all student's data which exist in my system okay so let me just take the base url again adding a new tab get request so always select the method which you want to use i'm making a get request that's my relative url one more thing you will notice here it is saying you need not to pass anything in the url any data in the url previously if you remember it was asking for the id like you need to pass id in the url so now we are not passing any id in the url it will fetch data of all students in my system as you make a request we are going to get lot of data as of now we we restricted here to fetch only latest 100 records because we already have more than 5 lakhs records over here so if you fetch 5 lakh lakh records it will take lot of time to get response so we just restricted to fetch latest latest 100 records but this is the api by which we can fetch complete data and it depends what all the get api your company or your project is developing because it might be possible in your project you have get request only for fetching a particular data you don't have any get request for fetching all the data so it depends it completely depends on your project but here i'm showing you can have one or multiple api for each kind of request get post put delete for each kind of request so here we have seen, we are making a get request and validating all the things manually means we are validating response code and we can also validate data which we are getting in the response so here in the session we have seen how we can make a get request on the postman for that we have used student management system application and after making a request we are validating we are manually validating result status code and data that's all we have for the session in next session i will show you how we can make a post request thanks for watching this video